Hello guys, it's me, and I'm back again with another video. As you know by now, I am a freelance portrait photographer, and I'm constantly exploring and looking for a solution that would help me improve my photo editing workflow with great quality and uncompromised results. So I came across Photo Diva, a user-friendly portrait editor with artificial intelligence effects. We will have a sneak peek of this software and see if it's any better than the other portrait editing programs out there. Oh, by the way, did I mention that this software is free? With the advancement of technology, editing softwares are becoming more intuitive and their artificial intelligence is getting better and smarter. Enter Photo Diva. Portrait Enhancer for all occasions. It is somewhat similar to Portrait Pro 19, which I featured on my previous video. Even with no Portrait Photo Editor experience, Photo Diva is a breeze to master. Transform your photography with intuitive sliders and one-click effects. The face editing software uses AI and advanced algorithms to detect facial features like lips, eyes, and cheeks. Now you can sculpt, beautify, and add color without making tedious selections in Photoshop. You can start editing with Photo Diva in three quick steps. First, open the photo you want to beautify. Second, fix imperfections and add some glam with one-click retouching tools. And third, export your stunning portrait to share on Facebook or Instagram. Speaking of Instagram, let's edit a photo from Samus Photos. Go ahead and follow him on Instagram. When you first open a raw photo, you will be greeted with this window where you are given a choice to select one of the six profiles which are default, auto enhancement, auto correction, landscape, portrait, and sunny day. I select portrait, then click apply. So it has already applied a very subtle effect. Let's zoom in and see what has changed. It looks like the face hasn't been retouched yet. Only the exposure and colors were changed. So over here on the right side, you have five tabs that you can go through to do your edits. There's the retouch tab where you apply skin smoothing, the sculpt tab where you enhance the facial features, the makeup tab to add virtual color and glam to the face, the common tab for overall exposure and color adjustments, and the effects tab which are basically like Instagram filters. Going back to the retouch tab, there are five functions. Auto retouch to fix common problems in one click, healing brush to remove blemishes like acne, clone stamp to erase bigger objects like scars, add dimension to improve contrast and add depth, and red eye removal to get rid of the red color on the eyes. Let's go to the auto retouch function. Here you can apply a style or effect with one click. I select the glamorous portrait style. This is the original image. And this is with the glamorous effect. Let's have a side-by-side -side look for comparison. So what do you guys think? If you don't like any of the styles, you can go to the custom settings to manually edit it yourself by moving the sliders. You can retouch the skin, change the skin tone, enhance the eyes, eyebrows and lips, and also whiten teeth. I'll go ahead and skip the other functions and watch me as I do a speed edit. The second tab is the Sculpt tab. And as the name suggests, you can enhance the facial features like the width of the face, eyes, nose, lips, chin, and eyebrows. I will not be making any changes to the subject's face today, so let's hit Cancel. We now go to the Makeup tab where you can add a virtual makeup. Let me play around the settings here for a little bit. So here's a before and after. And a side-by-side -side comparison. The fourth tab is the Common tab. And as I mentioned earlier, here you can adjust the overall lighting and color of the image. I'll click on the Auto Correction button and see what happens. It's a bit too much, so let's dial it down a little bit. 
this is the before after under the common tab you can also sharpen the entire image or add blur if you want and to add a little punch let's add a vignette effect so this is the before and after let's do another side by side here now the last tab is the effects tab if you want to be creative and add color and lighting effects you can do it here exchange the background as well let me give it a try now i'm not sure if i'm doing it correctly or it's a software problem but this function is a no for me let's just have a quick look at the effects right here there's a drop down box here to select different set of styles you can also adjust the slider to change the intensity of the effect I think I'll pick the color gradient effect and tone it down a bit. And this is the before, after. Let's zoom in so you can see it better. And another side by side. So this is Photo Diva, another portrait editing software that uses AI to quickly apply single click portrait with touching filters, control light and shadow, and add virtual makeup. If you haven't found the best portrait editing software yet, give this one a try. Anyway, it's free so you have nothing to lose. Again, just as with any other computer software, you just have to keep practicing. Familiarize yourself with the functions and find out what it can do, and eventually you will get better. If you like this video, please consider subscribing and watch out for more content. Like, share, and subscribe. And as always, Thanks for watching.